Ever since the internet began to upend the music business 15 years or so ago, there have been a couple of key moments. One was the creation of Napster, which ushered in the era of mass downloading and piracy. Another was the iTunes Music Store, which gave us a legal way to buy music for our iPods and computers. Well, we may be at a critical point right now again, with the arrival in the U.S. of Spotify, a European-based music service that's a big step forward towards the vision of being able to listen to whatever you want, whenever you want, wherever you want. Spotify is a cloud-based service, meaning that its 15 million tracks are stored on and accessed over the internet. It differs from iTunes in that you aren't purchasing and downloading the individual tracks or albums to your personal collection. Instead, you're streaming the music on demand. You know those brief previews of songs you can play on iTunes? Imagine that you could get the entire song instead of just a snippet. That's Spotify. The service comes in three flavors. The basic tier, which is free, allows you to listen only over a PC or Mac that has Spotify's iTunes-like software installed. And it comes with limits. There are ads, and after an introductory period, you'll be limited to 10 hours a month and five plays per track. Getting rid of the ads and limits requires a $4.99 a month unlimited subscription. For $9.99, you'll also get the ability to play Spotify tracks on your smartphone or tablet using a Spotify app and even to save them on your mobile device so you can listen on an airplane or subway when there's no internet signal. Spotify also makes it easy to share music with other users via Facebook or Twitter, and it can incorporate your existing iTunes songs and playlists. Now, you won't find everything. For example, it's BYOB, Bring Your Own Beatles, and other famous old-school holdouts like Led Zeppelin and Metallica are missing, too. Still, there's an awful lot there, including an impressive collection of material from artists well outside the pop mainstream. Now, with the whole move to cloud computing, there's been a lot of activity in the digital music realm these days. Pandora just went public, Google and Amazon both launched online music storage sites, and Apple itself is revamping iTunes to make it more cloud-friendly. Even in that crowded landscape, though, Spotify stands out for its ease of use, depth, and flexibility it's clear that it can play with the big boys. For Bloomberg News and Business Week, I'm Rich Jaroslawski.